ready for practice. Strapping it on. The facilities are great here. You know, we can work on any part of our game, whether it's in the field house, uh, getting swings in, whether it's in here, you know, doing bunt defenses or, you know, whatever we're doing. Um, it's great because we have this awesome facility. We don't have to go outside, you know, when the weather's uh, not not the best. There's always a place that we can, we can get it done. Look good. It's just a wonderful facility, you know. We're able to come in here and do everything we do outside. We can hit, we can take ground balls, we can take fly balls. 412 feet long, you know, further than it is from home plate to dead center field. So um, we've been outside now, I think, eight out of the last nine days, uh, having this facility to come in here and really focus on um, fundamentals is outstanding. Um, but the facility is, uh, I always tell guys it's 68 and sunny all day long in here. So uh, we're fortunate to have this facility, and it's, uh, it's a marquee facility, I think, for indoor and baseball. Get that pointer. Yeah. boy. We've had a great winter. I think that we've uh, been on the field, like I said, eight out of the last uh, nine or ten days. I think we've been on the field a total of uh, 12 days, something like that, out of, out of the first uh, 16. Of course, our field allows us to do that. We've got a turf infield. We've got a sand base outfield. Um, we don't have any problems with water. You know, the problem you may have is if you have inclement weather while you're practicing. But we can get outside almost every day if we choose to. Uh, but this facility allows you to do some things as far as the time constraints you have in practice that maybe outdoor doesn't allow you to do. Uh, four cages right here next to one another, two regulation size infields, uh, four indoor pitching mounds. We've got the McAlexander Fieldhouse. Uh, we have our new hitting facility over there with all the amenities you need for video. You know, our weight room is right next door. We can walk from the baseball field to the indoor here in, in a matter of five minutes. Uh, everything's right on top of one another. So it's a very special place, I think, that you could have all your athletic facilities um, that are so close to one another. Rain or shine, we're always getting our work done, whether it's, you know, we have just enough room to do bunt D's in here. We've got plenty of batting cages so we get our hacks off. You know, as you see behind me, we got our mounds. So, you know, it's a we're real fortunate to have this facility. Yes, good swing. Nice job. I think it's good that you have the opportunity uh, to have the flexibility to come in here, work in a facility of which you can get a lot of things done, also known as it's somewhat like baseball. You're going to have a rain delay. You're going to have a, a start time that changes. You're going to have a double header. You're going to have a lot of things that, that may uh, get you out of your rhythm, and then you got to make adjustments to them. It's just like today. You know, we were going to practice outside, looked at the weather, thought that, hey, maybe we should be inside, had to adjust our our uh, practice plan, so the guys have to adjust what they were going to do. So I think I think it's all good. I think part and part of the deal making adjustments is what happens in games. Good, good. Well, I think as far as the season kicking off, you know, the question is how excited are people and the kids about playing? I think everybody is, you know, but I think you also got to be aware when you're in the situation we are this year, we got a lot of new people and a lot more than we normally have. And so therefore, you know, you would like to have more time to prepare, more time to get these guys ready. We're coming off some unfortunate situations with some kids that got hurt back in the summertime. Adam Duke with USA Baseball. Uh, um, you got Osage coming off a, a, an injury. You got uh, um, a kid that broke his finger. You know, so I mean, we're without three or four veteran pitchers. And when you combine that with the young guys, I think that you're excited, but you're also prepared for for you know some growing pains. And and, and I just hope that our guys will take it on like they have all year, and that is uh, that they'll go out and, and, and fight their way through things and understand there's going to be bumps in the road, but uh, also understand ways to get through it. So uh, we're, we're extremely excited. We're excited to get down there and play. We're also you know, aware that there's going to be a lot of adjustments you make, and I think that's good. you got uh, a lot of lineups that you can, you can run out there. Uh, obviously, you're going to put some guys in some situations on the mound that they've never been in before, and uh, it'll be interesting to find out how they react to them. We've been you know, going at each other for what is it, six months now, something like that. We just can't wait to finally see somebody else across the diamond get after him. I expect us to go out there, give 110%, you know, give it everything we got out there and uh, see a lot of team chemistry and we're going to get a few wins.